SolidWorks Electrical was released uh, a couple of years ago and there are effectively two packages that we offer. There is SolidWorks Electrical Schematic, which is aimed at the electrical designer, which allows them to create their schematic diagrams, their bills and materials, and um, any wiring lists as, as well associated with the project. Um, we also have SolidWorks Electrical 3D, uh, which sits inside SolidWorks and it allows the user to take the schematics um, and information uh, from the 2D side and create 3D models and wire them up within the 3D environment. There is also a package called SolidWorks Electrical Professional which groups those two packages together on the same machine. Now if we have a quick look at SolidWorks Electrical we'll get an understanding of, of what it's about. So I'm going to start off with this package inline product, uh, project and I'm just going to open up this line diagram um, drawing. So this uh, line diagram drawing just gives us an overview really of how the components connect to each other. So I'm just going to add some uh, additional information to this. So we'll start off by inserting a symbol. I can choose from a, a library of, of symbols and you can add your own and for this uh, line diagram style drawing the uh, symbols are quite pictorial. Now I just add a motor in and because we've got already uh, two motors in this automatically takes the mark M3. Um, so we'll just go ahead and uh, place that down and before we do though we want to define a real manufacturer part for this. So if we just go ahead and, and search for, for that we bring up this search dialog box and we can search for various items. I'm going to search for motors in this instance. And then we have all of these manufacturers um, that are added to the system uh, with the real life parts uh, nested underneath them. So if we search for a Leroy Summer motor, we'll just go ahead and you can see that we've picked up on all of these references uh, here. And we're going to pick a, a three phase motor. So We'll select the one that we want, um, three phase motor. It's got all the circuit and terminal information and, and, and stuff with it. So uh, we'll just add that in. Now if we zoom in on that, you can see that the information about the motor appears next to its symbol. We'll then connect that to terminal strip X1 with a cable. Now if we go to a, a schematic diagram now, We've got our power circuit here, and I'm just going to add M3 onto this sheet. So if I go to insert symbol again, you'll see that, again, I have a vast library of symbols that I can choose from. You can add your own um, to suit. Um, I'm going to choose a three-phase motor one here, and as I drop it down, like so, I can define that that is M3. And as soon as I do that, you can see the same manufacturer information appears next to the symbol. So as far as uh, SolidWorks Electrical is concerned, M3 between the two pages are the same thing. We'll then add a terminal strip in. And that's going to be uh, part of X1, which is in a different location. And we'll then just come in here and edit the terminal strip because we want a cable um, going from the terminal strip to the motor. So we'll just select those wires there, associate a cable core. I'm just going to pick a cable that I defined earlier. So there's the cores of the cable. These are the wires that are currently there and we'll just associate them together. So we now get a cable uh, running from the, the, the terminal strip X1 and you can see the drawing update. Now one of the key things here is the cross-referencing um, between the symbols between multiple sheets. So you'll see here that we've got some contacts for K1, K2 and K3. Uh, now if I switch to a uh, different schematic, so we've got our low voltage circuit, circuit here, you can see that K1 is referenced there. Uh, if I go to the PLC inputs, uh, we've got PLC module that allows us to create PLCs really, really easily. Uh, we've got an outputs diagram there. So from here, what we've got is K2 and K3. And if we right click and look at the symbol properties for that, uh, we can tell uh, from this list here where those contacts are sitting within our project and whether they're being used or not. We also get this cross reference in here, which we can refer to for the contacts too. Now also within SOLIDWORKS Electrical, you can produce all your reports. So we've got, for example, a bill of materials there with all our manufacturer parts on. Uh, we've got a wire list and we've got a cable list. Now you'll notice on the wire list, for instance, there is a length column. 
and lengths can't be calculated within SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2D. So we need SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D to be able to do that. So if I open up the project in SOLIDWORKS Electrical uh, 3D, here it is, and you'll see that the project embeds itself into the task plane of SOLIDWORKS down the right hand side and we have access to all the same um, diagrams within, uh, within our project. Now we also get this additional um, tab within our uh, feature tree section on the left hand side um, which just gives us the various locations within our model and it gives us the various reference and we can see whether those references have been placed or not. So I can see here that K2 hasn't been placed so I can just insert it from a file in my library or I can just click on uh, associate in this case and if we just zoom in I'm going to say that K2 is that component there. Press OK and as far as the system is concerned K2 now exists within our assembly file. Alright now we're just going to go ahead and, uh, and route our wires. So on the 3D toolbar here we'll just click route wires and we'll go for a 3D sketch route, we'll use splines um, and we'll just hit the green tick. Now all these components we've inserted into our assembly have connection points on which match up with the circuit uh, for the manufacturer part. So it knows where the wire is going from and where it's going to. Um, it will also use the ducting within the cabinet um, to travel along between components. So there you have it, uh, it's done that there. You can also segregate your wires so you can keep your high voltage and low voltage stuff uh, completely separate. Now once you've done that you can just go ahead and update your bond properties and it will send the wire lengths back to Electrical 2D and update your uh, bill of materials for your, your wire lists. Finally you can export all of these documents out to PDFs or DXFs when they're done for manufacturing purposes. So that's just a brief overview of, of SOLIDWORKS Electrical. Just in terms of what's new in this release, uh, we have a rights management tool. So uh, what you'll find is you may have lots of people working or collaborating on the same project at any given time. And you need to control what those people can do. So when you log into SOLIDWORKS Electrical, it forces you to log in with a username. And then from there, it's determined whether you're an administrator, a library manager, a project manager, a project editor, or project contributor. And from the, uh, the shot on the screen that you can see at the moment, different users have different rights to do various things within the project. Also something that's new to uh, um, SOLIDWORKS Electrical is the simplified creation and design of electrical connectors. So these are like multi-pin connectors, I guess. The module is, is similar to uh, what we see with the PLC module. Uh, we have Advanced Formula Manager, so we use that for um, wire uh, numbering and project naming. And finally, when we go into SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D, when we do choose to route those wires, we get an error report. So if we are missing connection points, if we have too many connection points, if we have components missing, it's just going to give us a report, a warning to let us know exactly what's happened during that routing process. So that brings us on to the next subject, which is SOLIDWORKS Inspection.